Yesterday, we concluded the 30-year home dedication ceremony for our house here in rural Thailand. Many people from the local village uh, joined us for this special occasion. Afterwards, many of them offered their blessings to us for health and prosperity. And I emphasize that these were very sincere and heartfelt blessings. Um, throughout my life, I have lived all over the world. And I can honestly say this is the first time that I have truly felt completely welcomed into my community. The situation stimulated some deep, some deeper contemplation, and which in turn led to a few thoughts on friendship. And that's what this video is going to be about today, friendship. So, you have 100,000 friends on Tiki Taki InstaFace, do you? You don't really think that these are real friends, right? May I point out the obvious that validation on social media is essentially an empty, bankrupt, and counterfeit currency. And frankly, I wonder how, how much of modern social discontent is, is predicated upon the, the futile pursuit of this delusional digital self-valuation. Uh, a friend of mine recently remarked to a stranger, to a passing stranger on, on a trail while we were hiking, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, but he pointed out that a true friend is somebody that you know will be there when you really need them. And I think that that is a, is a valid metric for friendship. We should all know that most of our acquaintances in life are not true friends. That should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Perhaps, you know, perhaps you, we all understand that the value of, of having a true friend in this life, or, or if we're really fortunate, having a few friends, a few real friends. I, I hope that we can all appreciate this sentiment, but we live in such a troubled world. I'm, I'm not really sure that everyone would agree with that statement or not. Most of, most of our true friendships in life come about in, in an organic fashion. They just kind of happen to us. And they are a treasure that we, that we often don't really realize we have until life gives us sufficient perspective to appreciate them. For, for those who are uncertain as to how one goes about finding loyal friends, if I may presume, perhaps I could make a few suggestions. Sadly, we, we find ourselves living in a world of mostly artificial constructs with a lot of twisted values and, and frankly, um, an empty and unsatisfying purpose uh, at times. And if you imagine that those whom you frequently call friends, those shallow narcissistic posers who, who hang out with you in bars and clubs or engage with you on social media, if you, if you believe these people are genuine friends, then you owe yourself the intellectual honesty of, of assessing the situation more thoroughly. If you think that the narcissistic individuals you meet on a regular basis in the gym or on the yoga mat are your real friends, or even the pious postures that you meet at church who feign their brotherly love for you, if you think they're true friends, then, then I advocate, I sincerely advocate a measure of, of soul searching. We all need that. If you were in a dire situation, how many of the people you know would drop what they're doing and come to help you? I postulate for your consideration that many, if not most, of these supposed friends would be too busy. I would venture to say that some of them would actually take secret delight in your suffering. So how do we go about finding true friends in life, loyal friends? Well. 
Let's start with the basics. Let's do a little bit of process of elimination first. If someone is obviously a self-absorbed narcissist, then cross them off your list. Some people, sadly, do not possess the capacity to be a real friend. That's just reality. People who are governed by their egos are rarely as wonderful as they imagine themselves to be. Cross them off your list. Seek humble people. Seek sincere people. Seek genuine people. Irrespective of of someone's religious or political affiliations. Seek people who, who are intellectually honest, or, or at least strive to be intellectually honest. Seek people who have a moral compass. If someone does not possess basic moral values, why would they value friendship? If someone is nihilistic, why would they care about you? Most importantly, be a person who is worthy of a true friend. Be selfless, be loyal, be there when your friends need you. As, as Emerson said, the only way to have a friend is to be one. Thank you for watching my video.